G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist. Today I'm coming to you with a video where I share my tips on how to save yourself some wear and tear on your Shimano DI2 drop bar shifters. Now this tip works on every generation of DI2 drop bar shifters, barring the original 10 speed Dura Ace DI2. There's a special diagnostic tool where I believe you can play around with the shifting functions, but that tool generally isn't available to everybody. Moving forward in a two by scenario and default out of the box, a Shimano DI2 right shifter, the rear paddle shifts down the cassette to an easier gear and the front paddle shifts up the cassette to a harder gear. Obviously there's a lot of wear and tear going on with that one shifter. Meanwhile the left shifter doesn't see as much use in most scenarios. It handles the chores of the front derailleur shifting. Because these shifters both feature electronic parts, switches and so on, eventually with a lot of use they're going to wear out. In fact one or two of my friends has thoroughly thrashed a couple of pairs of DI2 shifters over the years to the point that the rear paddle no longer shifts anything so it's kind of done for. For those unaware, you can customize the shifting functions of your DI2 shift buttons utilizing Shimano's handy eTube app. In my example, I like to split up the shifting duties of the rear derailleur between the shift levers. So that means I utilize the big paddle at the back of each shifter to shift the rear derailleur. The big paddle on the right shifter will shift down the cassette to a harder gear, and the big paddle on the left shifter will shift up the cassette to an easier gear. The small buttons at the front of the shifters, they are then reassigned to shifting duties of the front derailleur. In this case, the small button on the right shifter will drop to the small chain ring, and the small button on the left shifter will shift up to the big chain ring. Stating the obvious, this splits up the shifting load on the rear derailleur between both shift levers. There's another positive, because I ride many review bikes, often with Shimano DI2 or SRAM's fantastic ETAP system, SRAM's ETAP relies on one paddle to shift up and down the rear derailleur and both buttons at once to handle the front derailleur shift. So this configuration I just mentioned is almost similar. So that means I can switch seamlessly between a SRAM bike and a Shimano bike without thinking about it too much by relying on the big paddles to handle the chores of rear derailleur shifting. So that's enough explanation. Let's see how I make this happen inside Shimano's eTube app. To make adjustments to how your DI2 system shifts, you'll need to connect your DI2 system to the eTube app. In the case of Shimano Altegra R8170, this system is semi-wireless, although you can run it fully wide if you want to save a lot of battery life. And incidentally, I have a long-term review of this group set coming. But that point aside, there's a little button underneath the derailleur here. You hold it down, there you go. Bluetooth pairing mode. Now I will utilize the eTube app to connect to the bike. My phone with the YouTube software, connect bike, and there we are, it's found the unit. Okay. Now that we've connected to the bike, we're just going to confirm the units. Next, we're going to modify the shifting. We're in the customize screen. So we'll tap the shift levers. So first of all, you have to tap the left shifter. Wake it up. Do the same for the right shifter. So we have the settings loaded. So you can see the right shifter handles the rear derailleur only, the left shifter handles the front derailleur only. So let's change that. Let's adjust the right shifter first. I wanted to leave the default setting for the big paddle, but I want to assign the shift down, as it's called in Shimano lingo, but basically it's gonna to shift to an easier gear up the cassette to the left shifter. Tap that assignment right there, and we'll make it rear shift down. Confirm. Now, I'm going to assign the front derailleur functions. So to drop from the big chain ring to the small chain ring, I want to select front shift down for the inner paddle on the right side. 
There it is. And that is it. Very simple. Then tap apply. I have to write the settings in this system. Done on the left. On the right, done. Then disconnect and we'll test. Here is a view of the revised shifting from the front of the bike. Right big paddle down the cassette. Left big paddle up the cassette. And the front chain ring. Left inner paddle up to the big ring. Small right inner paddle drop to the small chain ring. As I mentioned earlier, the shifter assignment significantly reduces wear on the DI2 shift levers, but there is a disadvantage. If you hold a camera, a GoPro in my case, in your hand, as often as I do, like this, it's very easy if you're riding bumpy terrain to accidentally trigger a derailleur shift, namely a drop to the small ring with this front pedal button. So there's something to be wary of, but when I'm riding without a camera, I've never ever had a full shift and I just can seamlessly switch between SRAM bikes and Shimano bikes and say we're at the same time. To connect to the YouTube software, if you've got a bike with a D-Fly module, this is how you do it. This is an 11 speed GRX DI2 system with the external junction box. To connect a system that has an external junction box and the D-Fly module, you need to place the unit into Bluetooth connection mode. There's a button underneath on this unit. Don't forget there's a version of this junction box that resides in the handle by end plug. Same situation, just hold down the button. There you go, it's entered the Bluetooth pairing mode. There we go, it's founder EWWU, triple one is the official name of the unit, okay. And you repeat the process I showed earlier, so you confirm the units, and then you'd customize. And here is the customization screen. If you don't have a bike with any kind of Bluetooth connectivity, you have to use your junction box charging port. Here's the charger, and you can connect this to your laptop, run the YouTube software, and configure your shifting. Important note, if you have the older charger for your DI2 system SM-BCR2 like this one, you'll have to use version 4.04 .04 or earlier of eTube. Plug in to your laptop. Charging was stopped because the E2 project has been started. That's normal. Okay. Unit recognition. And there you go, everything's connected. Okay. And from here we can customize everything just like we did with the phone, etc. So there you have it. That's my video, my tips, my hack video, some people might say, of how to save yourself some wear and tear on your Shimano DI2 drop bar shifters and if you like SRAM well you get a bonus as well as always thank you for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the gravel cycles youtube channel for interesting content such as this no bull gravel bike reviews other product reviews ride experience videos and of course general madness <laughs> yes as all of it is released to the channel i'll see you in the next video.